Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Learning with Jelly. So today we are going to touch lesson seven, which is going to go over the data step and how we create variables in the data step. Remember, there's two main steps in SAS, the data step and the proc step. And your data step is going to be the highlight for data manipulation. So we are going to go ahead and get started. So the data step has the data statement. And that data statement is going to be the name of the new data set you want to create and the library that you are storing it in. So for instance, if you create a library with your lib name statement called my sets, the data statement will have my sets dot the data set name. Okay. And we're going to see an example of this in future code. After the data statement is the set statement. And the set statement is the name of the old data set that you are reading from, okay? So the data statement is going to be the name of the data set that you wanna create. Sometimes it is the same name as the set statements data set if you want to overwrite your data for some reason, or it's going to be a new name from the data from the set statement. So flashback, just like I was talking about by the library. So remember that you can create your own library in SAS by calling the lib name statement, the name of the library that you wanted to create. So in this example, the library is my sets and then the location where your library is located. So it can either be a folder on your computer or a folder within SAS on demand for academics. And I'm going to show you that momentarily. Keep in mind when you're practicing data manipulation and variable creation, there's tons of SAS help data sets that you can play around with in SAS on demand for academics that you can pre practice creating variables, practice all of the things that we have been doing in these SAS tutorials, okay? So that's gonna be on the left-hand side of the screen. If you expand libraries and then you expand the SAS help, you can double click on any of these SAS data sets and you can use those as practice. And I'm actually gonna use one of the practice data sets in our example today so that you can actually follow along yourself or go back and code exactly what I code and see the results. So variable creation, you can create a numeric expression or a numeric variable. So here, Remember I said that the data statement has the name of the new data set that we want to create. So I'm creating a new data set called bweight underscore kg. And the set statement is the name of the old data set that we're reading. So I'm using one of those practice data sets. So it's in the SAS help library. So that SAS help dot bweight. And then I'm creating a new variable after that called weight underscore kg, which is gonna take the weight, which is in grams and divide it by a thousand. And then I'm going to run this data step, okay? So this is the normal format of the data step, okay? We have our data statement first, then we have our set statement, and then everything else comes after that. Now we're gonna get into some things where we can have a retain statement before the set statement, a length statement, things like that, right? But for now, we're just going to do data statement, set statement, and then our variables that we wanna create after that. So we also can create a character variable, right? So this is the same code, except for now we have created a new variable called domestic status, and we just assigned that to international, right? So one is using a numeric expression to create a numeric variable, and the other is using a character assignment to create a character variable. So now let's see how we do this in SAS Studio. So this was my example of creating a SAS library. If you do not know how to create a SAS library, take a look at my video on, on the lib name statement. I'm gonna link that in the description below. But pretty much when I expand the server files and folders on the left-hand side of my screen, I can upload a folder. Now this folder on my could already contain SAS data sets 
It could um, be a new folder that you want to create SAS data sets and store them in. So here I'm just going to call this my sets one. Okay. And then I see that there's this my sets. Okay. So then I can right click on this, hit properties, change this, right? Command C. Change this URL here or pathway, not URL, sorry, the directory here. And then when I run this, right, I have no errors or warnings in that log. I can then collapse servers and files on the left hand side. And then I can hit libraries, okay? And then when I expand my libraries, I have something called my sets and there's nothing in there right now. I just created an empty folder, but this is how you would, cr would create a library in SAS. By default, you already get the SAS help library anytime when you start up SAS on demand for academics. So for this data set that we just created is birth weight and it's reading from the SAS help library. So I like to expand the SAS help library. And then I also like to expand the data set that I'm working on, right? So I can see the name of the variables and then I can tell whether it's numeric or character. So age group is numeric, okay? And then death, for instance, is character, et cetera, et cetera. And we're actually using B weight. So let's look at that one in the SAS help data set. We have B weight down here. And we can see that all of these variables in the B weight data set are numeric. Okay. So I can also double click on that data set because I like to explore it. Look, you can do by quick glance the top 100 rows out of 50,000 rows about what the columns look like, things of that nature, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and run this. And for this demonstration, let's store this in our my sets data set that we just created. So I'm gonna do my sets dot the new name of the data set that I want to create. The set statement here is the name of our old data set. So I'm just putting a comment there that we just saw in our SAS help library. And then I'm creating this new variable called weight kilograms that's just gonna take the weight and divide it by a thousand. So when I run this, I see that the table name is my sets, B weight underscore KG. And if I scroll all the way to the left, I should be able to see the birth weight in kilograms, okay? If I expand my libraries on the side and I expand my sets, now we see the name of that data set stored in that library. Okay, so now let's run our second one and let's overwrite the data set that we just created because I like the output, so I don't mind overwriting it. And let's add this domestic status equals international another variable that I created. And then in the results, if I scroll all the way oops, to the left, Mac acting funky, I see that everybody has a domestic status of international, okay? I may need that status for something. And that is how you create data sets, data, data variables in a data step, okay? And that's how you store data sets in a library that you've created, okay? So start small, go through your SAS help data sets and just look and create random variables among these data sets just for practice, okay? So I will put a link in the description about the lib name statement. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all soon. Thanks for tuning in with Learning with Jelly.